everybody welcome 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 to Vanessa's van life journey how are you guys doing today uh, I am here today for a very serious conversation if you are a youtuber or you want to become a youtuber you need to listen up to this topic because this is going to be some very important information that could potentially keep you from having your YouTube channel hacked and stolen or deleted so come on in thumbs up the video like the video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already so I am already aware of this particular topic that I'm talking about but I was scrolling through YouTube or it just came up in my um, in my recommended and it was this particular lady and I'm gonna put the link to her video in the description box below so you can go check out her video and hear her story but it's this lady who had her whole channel hacked and taken away from her she is still trying to recover her YouTube channel from YouTube but she is not getting any help or any assistance from YouTube you guys so I just wanted to put this information out here so you guys could be aware of how these hackers are targeting people trying to take their YouTube channels away from them and deleting their channel you don't know if the channel got deleted or and you don't, or you don't know if the channel just got hijacked and all of your revenue from your from your channel they could possibly potentially be making money off of your videos so anywho when you have a YouTube channel a lot of youtubers get excited about collaborations with companies they can get free products they can make uh, a lot of money sometimes uh, a lot of youtubers can make more money with uh, collaborations with companies than they can on their YouTube channel so a lot of people are excited about collaborations and reviewing products from different companies so when they get letters and they get emails from these companies telling them they want to pay you or they want to send you free product a lot of people get so excited but I have known for years that you need to be very 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 cautious with a lot of these emails that you're entertaining, that you're responding to. Not everybody behind the email, behind a YouTube channel, behind any account on any social media platform is guaranteed to be legitimate. So you have to dot your I's, cross your T's, and you have to be extra cautious because you will become a victim and you will be victimized by a lot of hackers out there and a lot of people who do not have good intentions. So people will email you all the time telling you uh, that they want to work with you. And a lot of people, a lot of uh, companies do want to work with you. They want to see you product for free so you can try to put the products out in the front of their audience. But they are looking to send you something and get a bigger return. So a lot of times it's not even worth it to you. I mean, you can spend five or six dollars to go out and buy that item opposed to doing a review, making that company thousands of dollars and not getting anything in return. So. I just want to let you guys know what happened to this lady she said she received an email from a company and she was talking about a sponsorship with them and they told her to click on the link to fill out the application or to uh, fill out the agreement and she clicked on the link and she said as soon as she clicked on the link her channel disappeared her channel was gone they hacked her channel this is a big, fat, warning sign. For me anyway, first of all, a lot of companies, uh, you're receiving a lot of emails from different companies and they want you to click on these links and they want you to sign these contracts. I have made a rule of thumb for myself because I am self-employed on YouTube. I'm not working with an agent. I don't have anybody 
that uh, is going through my review, I mean, going through my collabs, I'm not working with the company in that aspect. So you have to be extra, extra, extra careful, you guys. I may be missing out on a lot of brand deals because I'm not, number one, I'm not signing a contract. Number one, I'm not signing a contract. Number two, I am not clicking on links. If a company cannot contact me and I can't go to their website and check out their products, I am not going to be clicking on any links. That's just me. So even when with companies that genuinely reach out to me and it turns out that they are genuine, I do not click on links. I go to their website. I look up the product that they say they want to review and then I will decide whether or not I want to work with that person. Number one, I'm not signing no contract. We are doing a very basic collaboration I will agree to whatever we need to agree to our terms and conditions verbally. If I reach out to a company and I receive a return email and you know that that, that email is genuinely from that company, then you can click on links and then you can sign contracts if you feel comfortable with that. If you have reached out to that company and you're getting a return email from that company because you know that you reached out to the proper company. So you can contact people yourself and you can have people contact you. When you have people contacting you, you need to be very leery of that. When people want you to click on links, when uh, people want you to sign contracts, uh, when people email you and tell you they have a product that they want you to review and they didn't even mention the name of the product. When somebody contacts you and the email that they are sending from does not have the company name in that email, you can go to that company's email or you can go to that company's website and usually any person that is affiliated with them is going to have that website's address, email address in their name. If the company doesn't have the, if the uh, email address is not a part of the company name, don't respond. I just kind of tell them I don't sign contracts and I don't click on links. I have people contacting me all the time and asking me to do a collaboration with them and telling me to click on the link. And I just tell them I don't click on links. I don't click on links and I don't sign contracts. So I hope you guys take heed to this situation happening to this lady. She lost her channel. I am so sorry for her losing her channel. She had 68 or uh, 63,000 subscribers. I think she said she had a very thriving channel, a very thriving community, and she had to start over, open up a new channel because, excuse me, because her channel got hacked. Protect yourself from your accounts being hacked. Another thing is uh, when you become an affiliate with some companies, you have to give those companies permission to your channel and on the back end of your channel they have permission on your channel and you don't know what those companies are doing you don't know what data those companies are collecting you do not know so unfortunately I will not become an affiliate with a company and they're gonna have access to my account and you have to go in and give them permission to have access to your YouTube channel do not do that. One of the companies that uh, had reached out to me that wanted access to my account was Timu. Timu wanted access to your YouTube channel 
where they actually are pretty much in your YouTube channel. You have to give them permission to have access to your YouTube channel. So you guys need to be very, very, very careful when you give access to a company to have access to your YouTube channel. I know StreamYard is one of those companies that also have access to your YouTube channel. Uh, you give them permission and they have access to your YouTube channel. So uh, be careful in the type of services that you're receiving from people where they may say they need permission or access to your accounts because something can go down on your channel and you will not know what caused it and you could potentially lose everything that you work hard for. So if you guys have any experiences, any tips or any questions about this particular subject, leave it in the comments bar below. Again, if you wanna see the uh, video to the lady that I'm speaking about, go ahead and look in the description box below. Look below the video, click the description box, and click, click more twice, and you will see the video. I will talk to you guys later. Thank you so much for watching, and be careful out there because there are people out there that are hacking people, cyber bullies. Like, I mean, you just don't know. The mindset of people out there, I mean, I have people <laughs> that stalk me literally on every platform that I go to. They go create fake accounts to uh, come and follow me. Uh, every now and then I look up and I, I see these people that are stalking me and they follow me from platform to platform to platform, from TikTok to Facebook to Instagram to YouTube. And when I recognize those accounts that are trolling me, hating on me, bullying me and harassing me, I just go ahead and block them. So do your best, do your due diligence. Do not click on links to any email that anyone sends you. Do not sign contracts. Do not click on a link to get to a contract. If people can't give you a verbal agreement, I'm sorry, I'm out, and I'm not interested. I may miss out on collaborations with people, with companies. It's better for me to miss out on something that I didn't know that could potentially hurt me than to end up accepting something that I think has the potential to help me and it ends up harming me. So just be careful and don't forget to continue to share your stories out there of things like this that are happening to you because that could bring awareness to other people and keep it from happening to them as well. So anyway, you guys, I'm signing out and thanks for watching. Bye now.